A new proposal called the Paycheck Fairness Act could put an additional strain on the job market. Just what we need. Now, joining us is Diana Furchcott Roth, a senior fellow with the Hudson Institute, a former chief economist at the Labor Department. She also has a new book out, which is called How Obama's Gender Policies Undermine America. Diana, we know this recession and talking about the job losses have been very difficult on men, more so uh, than women. And you say the policies of the administration are not where they should be. Tell us about it. Exactly, yes. Well, in my book, which is right here, what, <laughs> I, do is I, what I do is I describe what uh, President Obama and Congress are doing to help women, even though today we know that women's unemployment rates are 1.8 percentage points lower than men's. Well, right as the Senate was leaving, Senator Reid put the Paycheck Fairness Act on the calendar. This would require employers to send data to the government of how much uh, men earned and women earned in their companies, also by race. That's so the government can check up that women are being paid the same as men, even if it's not in the same job, the same occupation. So if Exxon has some oil drillers and it has a group of administrative assistants and the administrative assistants are mostly women and the oil drillers are mostly men, the government wants the two groups to be paid the same, even though oil drilling is a more dangerous, dirty, risky business. Diana, do you think that one of the reasons that one of the obvious reasons people have attributed to women having a lower unemployment rate is that they are in sectors of the economy, what, say healthcare and education, that have not had the same job losses? But if women still do make less than men, is this the free market at work that you keep people on who make less if you're looking to uh, trim your workforce? Well, that's such a good question. And on average, if you take all full-time men in the economy and all full-time women, yes, women do make less than men. But if you compare men and women in equal jobs, say a male oil driller and a female oil driller, or a male lawyer and a female lawyer, or a male and a female supermarket cashier who've been there the same amount of time and have the same experience, the same education, you find that they make about the same. You know what is interesting about this book, and this is going to sound idiotic, but you're a woman, obviously, which you know, but I you're am. writing this book, <laughs> and I'm sure some feminists are going to come out and say, hey, listen, Diana, you're, you're anti-woman, and I'm, what do you say to them? What's the, what, what do you say to people who criticize you? I say that the feminists who work for equal opportunity have succeeded, but equal opportunity doesn't necessarily mean equal outcome. What they should do is declare success and go home. But they can't do that because there's a feminist lobby, the National Association of Women, the American Association of University Women. There's millions and millions of dollars in this industry. And if they were to admit success, they would be out of a job, joining the 9.6% unemployed. But we're never going to have equal outcomes. Never, because women and men make different choices. Women don't want to be oil drillers. Some of them uh, don't want to put in long working hours if they have children. So they end up in different kinds of jobs. Well, would Diana, you say that this Paycheck Fairness Act will hurt both sexes because it, you won't be able to, as a company, reward right. someone for good performance. You've got to just right. go ahead. Yes, yes. And it will also hurt both sexes because if, say, a company is thinking about expanding in the United States or maybe going offshore to Canada or Mexico, and they don't have to do all this paperwork abroad, but they do in the United States, they'll think about opening their next plant abroad mm -hmm. rather than here in the United States. So it'll re reduce hiring by making employment more expensive, both for men and for women. That's one reason mm -hmm. employers haven't been hiring during this recession. There's more penalties, more paperwork. That's probably a topic for another day, but right. you've got to make things easy for hiring. Well, we will have you back certainly another day. And, Diana, thank you for coming on uh, today. Thank Good you, to Diana. see you. Well, Diana. thanks so much. It's Th great to be with you. Diana Fershkod-Roth with us here from D.C.